good morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the BTC USD pair and the recent events stirring the markets. Greg? The Bitcoin dollar pair gained 0.1% in the last session after a 1.1% intra-session dip. The ROC is giving a positive signal. The gold rose 0.9% against the dollar in the last trading session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. NIO's stock gained 0.9% in the last session, after rising as much as 3.5% during the session. The stochastic indicator indicates an oversold market. The Aussie dollar pair gained 0.4% in the last session. The stochastic RSI is giving a positive signal. Coming up, today's major financial news. The gauge of global shares was lower, with U.S. yields higher, as markets weighed uncertainty ahead of the U.S. election, as well as the outlook on interest rate cuts. Cryptocurrency exchanges Binance and Crypto.com are losing market share to smaller competitors, as decentralized exchanges gain momentum. Binance, the world's biggest crypto exchange, saw a 13% year-over-year decline in spot trading volume. German exchange operator Deutsche Börse pointed an 11% rise in third-quarter net profit, slightly below expectations, and nudged up its full-year revenue guidance. Net profit attributable to shareholders was 445 million euros, up from 400 million euros a year earlier. And now, let's review some of today's world economic events. The US Fed's Beige Book will be released at 18 GMT. The US MBA mortgage applications at 11 GMT the Eurozone's consumer confidence at 14 GMT. Germany's 10Y bond auction will be released at 9.30 GMT. Japan's foreign bond investment at 23.50 GMT. Japan's foreign investment in Japan stocks at 23.50 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day.